got the voltage regulator removed out of the out of there. This thing's had a long life. Somebody's actually directly wired because if I can feel it's actually brittle underneath there. Underneath that. Directly wired it in. Which is in this. I have no problem with this. And it's supposed to be a red and white wire. So I have no problem with it being red. But the thing is I'm going to have to cut that and put an end on it. Now I don't have any ends to work with it. Because here's the actual end for it on handy. So what I'm going to do is I've got this piece of the old wiring harness used to come across here and I'm going to splice it in, the, in there basically strip it back solder it. I would normally use uh, shrink uh, heat shrink on it but I'm going to go ahead and just use the uh, black tape this time I'm kind of coming back and getting back in here anyway later on and I'll go ahead and do it properly then not a professional job but good enough. I mean, this is one of those times where just good is good enough. I mean, I know the owner's not going to complain since it's me and I'm doing the job. But next is to get the new bad boy up in their hole. And now I get that one wire plugged in. Then I'll be waiting for the stator and the harness. Then I can start putting this, cleaning it up, put it together, back together, and hopefully have a ride. All right, all right, all right. Getting a little dark to see here, but got it up in there. It was a rut. I had to wrestle to get it in there, but you can see I cleaned up the harness. This is all plug into the new harness that I'm getting. Cleaned it up. Just waiting for it to new harness to come. Now I did end up pulling the battery totally out of the box because it actually screws up and into the box and gave me a little spot, a couple spaces where I can just take a finger in to help out to get it in the place. I'm gonna finish putting my helmet hook in, my four bolts in the place, and I'm gonna throw that battery on charge. And if you do want to um, learn more about how to diagnose your electrical system, go over to Mr. Max Story. He has uh, several good videos on how to diagnose your bike in different different systems. Um, myself, I say if you start having problems. First place really to look would be your uh, your ground connections. Ground connections tend to corrode, and all you gotta do is take them apart and clean them up. Once you do that, put it together, try it out. Normally, it works out for you, no problem. A little bit of gift from the kids helps out tremendously. But now, yes, all we're waiting for is the stator. And we'll have to clean it up. We've got a lot of cleaning to do, but get the stator into place. Get it all wired in. Clean her up, put her together. And get her running. And once I do get her running, ride her for a little bit, make sure she's going to be trustworthy. I'm going to go ahead and give her a nice bath, well-deserved bath. But, here you go guys. Like I said, that's Mr. Max Story. I'll put a link in the description on, on all my videos on this. So you guys can go to his webpage. I, I mean, he's darn good with what he does. Got the stator in today. Along with the new, it's an old, new old stock stator. And they got a uh, the wiring harness, the used wiring harness for me that I requested, since most of my wiring harness was toast. And just to show you, guys, you got three center bolts goes through. Actually, three center cap screws. 
and don't forget to use the anti-seize because this is steel and this is aluminum on the outside. When you get the combination, they tend to seize up. I had the troubles with the two mounting bolts for the wires, getting them out, but they're anti-seized and put together. It shouldn't give me a problem in the future. But we'll be gonna, I'm going to take this on over, clean up where the, mag, the magnet is for it, clean it all up, and get her put together. Next. The answer to my second video, this bolt is actually called a cap screw. Whenever it doesn't have a nut on it, it's a cap screw. Whenever it has the nut on it, it's called a bolt. And it's just not particular size, color, anything. All bolts. If it has a nut on it, it's a bolt. If it doesn't have a nut on it, it's a cap screw.